Oh yeah, what's going on YouTube? Two back here with another tips with Teep, Optic versus Envy, MLG Orlando, Evac Uplink. Get a link, Evac Uplink, the walkthrough tips with Teep. A little bit more simple if you guys want to check that out. But let's get into this gameplay. Little disclaimer before I start. These teams uh, obviously don't know what's going on on the minimap at all times, so some of the things, uh, you know, take what I say with a grain of salt. I'm explaining perfect situations and what teams should be doing depending on the situation that I see on the minimap. So when you are going over a VOD, this is the type of stuff you want to see teams doing in order to improve. But anyways, let's get into the gameplay. Okay, to start off this evac uplink, Optic makes a pretty crucial mistake off the rip here when they are deciding to wrap this drone. Basically, when you're deciding to make a play like this, you aren't necessarily playing for points. It's a keep away game on this less preferred side. And the ultimate goal of this is to try and net glass control. You see them instantly go for the one, a little bit of a, of a panic play in my opinion, and instantly gives not only glass control, but drone control to Envy. And they, you see them push up and punish Optic for this. When you are wrapping the drone like that, you need to see the player either just be wasting time and send the rest of the players back over to glass because that's what you need on this less preferred side. If you're able to get glass, that's how you're able to shut down the other team from pushing up and get easy scores like we see Envy doing right here. So just a little bit of a mishap from Optic Gaming off the rip allows Envy to get a two point lead early in this one. Yes, Optic Gaming is able to close this map out and win, but it's little plays like that that can cost you when you could very easily retain the drone control and you kind of want to leave your drone player that's wrapping it to leave him out to dry a bit. If you're able to push out and get glass control, make the players from Envy wrap back to their base, that should give you a, a numerical player advantage going over to glass right and that's the whole point of doing a wrap like that if you're able to push up to this tree area uh, you know that's what opens the map for your teammates to make some plays now we see optic instantly correct their mistake juke the drone on the wrap and then end up taking it up towards tree because their players get some kills but the the most important thing about this is they they take way too long they get greedy and move the drone way too far up the play there is to hold tree control make sure envy can't get out of their ba base anymore yes envy had a nice flank but overall you need to just net glass again optic overextends gets taken out way too easily which allows envy to get control again and on the least preferred side that's something you need to do a good job of uh, you know controlling and optic so far in the first half of this first half haven't been able to do that at all. We see optics overextend, they get punished, Envy does a great job of retaining glass and that's what opens the door for them to score a lot more points in quick succession. Basically, Optic ha is forced to make an overextend play, which is a good play. They all group up and decide to just go and get glass again because that's really all you re need to do. If you control glass, the other team can't really do too much to, to get you out of it as long as you're playing patient and smart. So Optic overextends. Gets the drone back in their favor, and they end up getting a point again. So, heads up play from them. All they need to do is try and just stay up at this tree side. Uh, so, the interesting play there is the player that's pushed up from the optic side, I think it's former right here, gets taken out. And that's fine. Completely fine to challenge that. The drone is wrapped over towards the middle again. And I, I'd like to see them fight for glass a little bit more, but I get it. You're, you're playing keep away. That's completely fine on this least preferred side. They end up just playing patient. The keep away game, Envy is forced to get out, out of those power positions. You see Envy, that player at glass, is forced to just kind of wait around and hopefully his team makes a play. So Optic's playing this much better now. They end up just waiting for kills, depending on what happens. That uh, uh, forces the drone player to make the play up towards over here. And they end up eventually getting the dunk. That's all I wanted to cover on the first side. So now we're jumping on board on the second half. And you can see the difference of the break off compared to Envious. They just hit glass. They want to take all of those gunfights and net control of it. I think they're playing a more, much more consistent style than Optic is uh, to, to start off on both sides of this evac up. Like Optic instantly went for the wrap. Envy did it. But now we see a crucial mistake. Just like I was talking about before. They end up getting heat wave by a teammate. They waste the camo. All you need to do there is control tree. And they mess it up just as Optic did and instantly give drone control back into Optic's favor. Unacceptable gameplay from them. Just hold the tree and hit ones over and over again is all you need to do. We see both sides on the start of these halves didn't do anything special to get these points. Both made mistakes, conceded the drone to the other team. And you see Optic punishes just as Envious did in the first half. 
to get the lead back in their favor, just uh, unnecessary, unforced errors from both from both sides. They were trying to do too much when they could very easily just hit one one point attempts from that tree side. We see as we move on towards the rest of this game that Envia starts to get punished. They lost the glass control, and it wasn't necessarily anything special Optic did. Did, did they win some clutch gunfights? Yes. Is Krim playing this sort of situation well? Yes. But it all started from Envia's mistake in which they could have retained control the entire time. And now things are going to start to snowball out of control because Optic are, are, are on that preferred side. You see them able to get another dunk, or it turned into a one actually, for a two-point lead. But it's so hard to stabilize if you're on this Envia side. You saw Optic was able to four over extend to stabilize on the first half envious kind of split pushing not sure what to do another dunk goes in and you see as this progresses it, it was one play by envious the one overextend with the drone the wasted specialist abilities that allows optic to open up the game in this fashion and by the time envious is finally able to stabilize at glass control you see this last dunk from optic going in to get a 13 to 7 lead one simple mistake like that is what allowed Optic to break this game open and keep themselves in this series in the first best of five. Envious responds very well, gets back to this drone respawn location and gets control of glass again. Perfect place from them, and they're able to push up this drone up towards tree and retain control of it, and that's why they're able to get the, the score back in their favor. Slasher's staying alive in the back of the base. He starts going on a tear, earns some streaks here in a couple of seconds in which we'll see and Envy's doing a great job, plenty of time as well. They're able to get the drone control. They have tree, they have all the momentum in their favor. But finally, we see after this, this Cerberus comes down, a heads up play from one of the Optic members, sure enough, it's Karma, gets up towards glass. And usually the last player needs to spawn up and get control of the drone to keep progressing it forward. Basically, he's able to disrupt that uh, sort of flow from envious and that's all you really need to do it's the play from him the second kill catches that player at glass off guard a very very heads up play from karma and that's why they're able to get this drone up towards glass one last time secure a one pointer and that's really all you need a heads up play from optic especially karma to close out that map and it's such a good play from him but we see the common issue from both sides is when you are wrapping the drone, you need to net something. It's either A, wasting time, or B, netting glass control. My, I recommend these teams let that player rotate the drone over, get glass control, and then play the reset so you can work up towards tree. Because if you, if you give them that lane at glass up towards the side AC, you get punished. We don't give up drone control for free. Control the tree side. We saw both teams punish both things that they need to fix. Everyone talks about how Call of Duty is such a simple game, but you see how both sides make a similar mistake. Optic is able to punish more than any of us is able to before they're able to stabilize, and that's why Optic was able to, to secure this game. It wasn't anything fancy. It was both teams conceding drone control for free and the other side punishing. I really hope you guys enjoyed this first gameplay breakdown from MLG Orlando. If you'd like more of these, leave a like, leave a comment if you enjoyed, and I'll break down some more of the games from MLG and maybe some other tournaments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on Tips with Tape.